Hi, I'm Stina and I live in Jokkmokk in Swedish Lofland. Here it can get really, really cold in the winters. Uh, I work as an outdoor guide and I easily get cold feet myself. So today I'm going to let you know how I do to keep my feet warm. But first, let's roll the intro. We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lofland. For living, we work as nature guides and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. Welcome back to Jokkmokk. I'm Stina and today I will let you know how I do to keep my toe, toes and feet warm in Arctic climate. Um, I work as an outdoor guide and do dog sledding tours in winter. I always been struggling with cold feet and here in Jokkmokk the temperatures can get really cold. It can get down to minus 50 Celsius sometimes. It doesn't happen often but it happens. And so by experience I learned how to keep my feet warm and today I will share the knowledge with you. So <laughs> here's Annie. <laughs> hey Annie. Here's her favorite socks and boots. They are red. Right Annie? <laughs> so my technique are warm boots, big boots and several layers of socks. But first we're gonna start talking about the socks. There are many many different kind of socks you can choose from but what you should look for if you're going out in winter time and outdoors you should have wool socks. That's really really important. And cotton socks for example is a big 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 no no. Never use cotton socks because cotton attracts moisture and as soon as it's wet it get it feels really 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 cold and you can get frostbites on your feet if you're wearing them and they get cold. They doesn't heat at all in winter time. So wool socks is the thing. And the higher percentage of wool as you can find is the best. I would say minimum 50% of wool in your socks. But the higher the better. When it's really cold I wear three socks and a day to like a day to day when it's not so cold, only a few minus degrees Celsius, I only wear two socks. But the ones I use are these ones. These I wear closest to my skin. They are a softer sock, 90% wool. They are not itchy, so nice to wear closest to your skin. They are what I call a thin sock. I know many of you won't call them thin, but for us up here, this is a thin sock. And I also have this type of sock, it's 50% uh, wool in this. I don't wear these so much in winter time because the low percentage of wool, but they are great in summer or autumn. Uh, wool socks sounds maybe weird for you to wear in summertime, but wool is a super good material and it cools when it should cool and it warms when it warms. So I wear wool socks all around the year, thinner or thicker depending on. But yeah, this is the thin sock I use closest to my skin. And on top of this, I wear a medium thick sock. These are 100% wool. These are a itchy itchy wool sock so it's nice to have a softer one underneath but they're really warm and on top of these medium thick socks I have thick socks this is what I call thick socks polar socks some somebody called them they are also 100% wool these are homemade but you can also find in the shop that are fabric made. I use both and both work fine. First this one and then the middle layer and then the thick sock. <clears throat> so now we're gonna start to talk about the boots. The boots should be 
insulated boots and they have to be really really big because you're gonna room all the three layers of socks inside and <clears throat> even if you have three layers of socks this is important that that even if you have all the socks on there should be some air around your foot so if the boot are too tight it doesn't matter if you have five socks on because if you feel cold it has to be some air around uh, a good thing to think about that you should be able to wiggle your toes in the boot with all the socks on then they are good and the boots should be insulated boots it's the best one uh, we prefer the boots with the loose inner insulation because if they get uh, wet you can take them out and dry them also with the boots there should be a thick sole uh, it's cold on the ground and it goes up to your foot so if you have a thick sole on the boot that's absolutely best uh, this is one type of boot. There are loads of different kind of boots and it's a jungle But I will talk about different kind of winter boots in another movie uh, This is what we use for our guests on the tours. I sometimes use them myself um, They are a bit heavy but warm so yeah big boots and warm insulated boots with thick soles and inside the shoe or boot <laughs> that should be a insole as well and there could be different kind of insoles i know uh, there are like um, thermal or like a full uh, what's it called a uh, thermal full insoles i never try them myself i use wool soles insoles and this one is my favorite it's a wool insole and inside inside the wool it's a birch bark these are really good but can be hard to find i think they you can find them up here in lapland but i don't know how it is in in the rest of the world or even in south sweden can be hard i guess but these are super good if you don't have a insulated boot like this uh, thick insulated you can put a felted inner shoe in it yourself this is felted wool and I use them a lot I love them um, to keep them stay longer because they easily get holes in them especially on the heel I put duct tape on to protect and then they hold for much much longer so filtered wool inner boots are great to have. Now you think maybe why don't you use toe or foot warmers? You know, the small uh, things you can stick on your sock that heats for a few hours. I tried them and they work fine as long as they stay warm. They don't stay warm as long as they stay on the patriots and and when they uh, go out of heat, when they get cold, it's like having an ice cube in your boot. So I have tried them, but I never use them again. It's fine if you're just going to stay out for two hours or something. But for me, that stay out for a whole day, it's just worthless. It's better to wear the technique I have with the wool socks and the thick insulated boots. It's not only the boots and the socks that will make the trick to keep your warm, your feet warm but it's also some technique and the technique is always be in movement. Move your body. Even if you're on the same spot, tap your feet, move your body a little bit all the time. That will definitely help you to keep your feet warmer but also your whole body. When it's cold, I'm never still. I try to do something all the time and if I have to stand still, I'm moving on the spot. That's the trick. So this was all from me for today. Now the dogs are howling as well, a bye-bye. Uh, I hope this video has helped 
will help you to keep your feet warm and if you like this video please give it a thumb up and if you like to get more outdoor tips or just follow on our adventures don't forget to subscribe to our channel that would be great until then take care bye